All right, so it's been about four days and I'm trying to show you guys the dust levels on these. It's really hard to, to see, but they're all about equally dusty. No one's standing out in my naked eye. All right, so from left to right on the top of the hood, we have the nano skin, middle we have Projet, and on the right we have the 3D beat it up. On the bottom underneath, we have the Pro Synergy, in the middle we have the Ethos DeFi, on the right we have the Manette's Ceramic Quick Detailer. So this would be the upper half, and this will be the lower half. And right about here in the middle is an area where nothing was treated. So let's see how they rinse off and how they bead. All right, so looking at all the different spray-on detailers, I'm gonna have to say they all did a pretty good job. This 3D Beat It, of course the name is Beat It, has some excellent beads. The Nano Skin Ceramic Boost has some excellent beads. And the Ethos DeFi down here in the middle has really nice water beading angles. Now, as we look at the other three, the one up here is Projet, and the beads are just not very equal and tight. Down here, this is Manette's. Now, Manette's was more of a sheeting product. It does have beading, but they're not nice and tight either, but I noticed it sheets really, really well. So if you're looking for a sheeting product. And on the left down here is the Pro Products Synergy Ceramic Spray. Decent beading, uh, kind of in the middle of all of them. So this is a mid-range product, little sheeting, little beading. Now if we're talking about beads, the 3D and the Nano Skin, I'm gonna say are equal. So I'll put them at the two and three spot. The Ethos, I'm gonna say it's probably the number one tightest, uh, highest water angle on the beads. Uh, the number four spot, gonna be over here on the bottom left with the Pro Product Synergy. And the fifth and sixth spots will be equal between the Manettes and the Projet up here. So, it is what it is. Longevity, we're gonna use the uh, Malco Pink Prep. This is definitely not the strongest soap, but we're gonna apply it right to right to the mitt there. So we're gonna apply this directly onto the mitt and rub it in. We're gonna rub it 20 times up and down is one. So that'll be 40 times in each direction. This stuff smells really good. It is not the strongest of prep products, but it does work. So you just have to rub it in a lot of different times and I'm applying it directly to the mitt so it's more concentrated on the panels.
Now I know it's hard to see in the sunlight, but on the top right we have the 3D Beat It. In the middle we have the Ethos, and on the top left we have the Nano Skin. Those three products are showing nice hydrophobics, good beating, while the other three products are diminished or sheeting more. All right, so here I've pulled my car inside the garage. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. We're gonna start here with the 3D beaded up on top and the minettes on the bottom. You can see a clear difference in water sheeting, a lot more protection on the 3D beat it over the minettes. And in the middle, we're using the Proje on top versus the DeFi by Ethos on the bottom. The Ethos DeFi is just a killer. It uh, doesn't like the water at all, while the Proje SiO2 Quick Coat is slow sheeting. And on the left side, we're gonna look at the Nano Skin on top versus the Pro Product Synergy on the bottom. You know, the, the Nano Skin just sheets the water. You can see the protection. And while the Pro Product Synergy is no slouch, it is not very close to the Nano Skin protection, although it is sheeting water still, the Nano Skin is beating it out. So that's what we're looking at there. It, it is a, a decent product. You know, I'm gonna say that that Pro Product Synergy is right in the middle of all of these products. So, you know, this Ethos DeFi, uh, super resilient, uh, top-notch product. Uh, I hate being on a bandwagon, but it is the truth of the matter. The 3D Beat It Up, another excellent product, and the Nano Skin, another fine product. The Synergy from Pro Products, a good product. You can see there's still some water puddling on the middle with the Proje, and uh, Minette's has some puddling as well, but more sheeting so it was drier just a small little puddling versus the proje I mean, that's not bad at the sheeting and the drying element okay so here we're going to take it a step further and use the poor boys world strip down on the hood here we're going to spray them all down and work them into the paint with a wash mitt and let's see who can withstand the poor boy's world stripped down. So after the Poor Boys World stripped down, the 3D one is still on the panel. It has been radically diminished, but it is still sheeting water. As you can see there, I'm trying to bring you in at different angles. It's kind of difficult to see on this color, but you can see it's still working. The protection is still there, and uh, the Manettes is pretty much gone. Let me bring you over here to the middle. And over here you can see right away that the Ethos is rejecting the Poor Boys World Strip Down. As we put water on the panel, it's just flooded and water sitting on top of the Proje while the Ethos wants nothing to do with water or Poor Boys World Strip Down. Ethos is the real deal. DeFi 
is doing its thing, guys. Now let's look at the left side on top, the Nano Skin versus the bottom, the Pro Products. Um, Nano Skin still holding up here. Just rinsing the panel real good. You can see that the Nano Skin is sheeting. It has been diminished, but plenty of protection still left on. You can see the line clearly right there while the Pro Products Synergy is pretty much dead at this point. All right, guys, well, I've let the hood dry for about five minutes here on its own. And there is something to say about these products that I say didn't make the cut versus the ones that did make the cut. Now, there's always the issue of beading versus sheeting. And if you look over here, we have water droplets, beads, more beads or water. And what is on the car as this dries is the water. So. If you're looking for that, these are definitely the winners in that bunch. But if you want less water on your car, I mean, the Manettes is pretty dry. The Proje is pretty dry. The Pro Products is dry. So you don't have water sitting on the car that's going to create water droplets or water spots when they dry up. And that's the difference in products that bead or that sheet, guys. So, I mean, you gotta pick your poison here. Obviously, these ones stayed on, they were more durable, they made the water run off. But when it dried, this is the result. This is the result. So you have to pick what you wanna use. You know, if you're looking for that, then any of these three for not having water on them, maybe a, a, you call that what, hydrophilic? These would be the winners in this test. And these other three that hold water would be the losers. So it just depends on how you wanna look at this glass, half empty, half full. I hope you guys understand that concept. All right guys, I went ahead and sprayed more strip down on the vehicle and the ethos is still going. So this is my third application just on the ethos with the poor boys world stripped down this stuff is super resilient i'm i'm only doing this area because it's all that's left of the beading and protection on the hood so ethos is no joke guys it is the real deal and it's a pain to get off So finally, after my third application of Poor Boys Rolled Strip Down, I was able to strip the ethos off the panel. Wow. All right, guys, let's talk about these six products here. Before we do, though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and press the notifications button so you get all the new videos we put out. Now, talking about these six products, these would be something that I would use after I wash my car and I want a little extra protection, I want that shine and gloss on there, and these all perform well at that. All right, let's, let's start out with these three products here. You got the Pro Product Synergy, the uh, Manette's Ceramic Detail Spray, and the Pro J SIO2 Quick Coat. These don't bead and they're not gonna last as long as these. Does that make them not good products? No, it doesn't. What I found with these three products is, sure, they wear out a little bit faster, but let's take, for example, the Manettes. It doesn't say it's gonna last a long time. It says 10 to 15 days. What it does say is get that shine and gloss. You know what I'm saying? And it does that. I don't expect anything more. They don't overstate their product. Um, the SIO2 Quick Coat, I've never really been a fan of it. Uh, it, it is streaky and um, that's just my experience with it. I, I just not a fan of this one. And the Pro Products Synergy for $31 a gallon. This is an excellent buy. It's really smooth to the touch and it gives a nice gloss. Now these three products, when you let them dry, 
there's no water spots left. They just dry out. So that's that's the plus side of these three products. You don't have that beading, but they don't leave water spots. They don't the dirt doesn't fall onto the panel and then get stuck in the water spot water beads and make water spots. So that's their upside. All right? That that's what you want. You use these products. More of a water sheeting hydrophilic effect. These three products these are super, super durable products. They give high, high beading, nice uh, angles. I guess, what do you call them? Uh, bead angles or water beading angles. The Nano Skin at $16 a bottle. I think this is 16 ounces. This is an excellent product. It smells like, like roses. And uh, I've always liked this product, so you can't really go wrong. I think you can get a gallon. Uh, I'm not sure what a gallon costs on this, but uh, it, it, this is a great product. My real surprise was this Beat It Up. Now this Beat It Up, for this bottle is probably like $14. And uh, a gallon of this I wanna say is like $30. So this is just a phenomenal, phenomenal product. 3D makes excellent products. And I highly suggest you get a bottle of 3D Beat It Up. You just can't beat the price and the product for that. Now the real standout here is the Ethos DeFi. Um, I know everyone's on the Ethos kick, but I'm not trying to be a bandwagon person, but in all honesty, this stuff was the most durable product. It beat it the best. Uh, I had to do extra stripping on this product, maybe a couple extra times than all the other ones to get this off of there. This is no joke. They are serious with this DeFi. Uh, you will pay a premium for this product here, but I think it's it's worth it if you if you want the best and the longest lasting with the most beads. That's this product. However, remember that the beads will stay on your car and you will get water spots. Any of these three products will make water spots on your car, so it can't just reach for oh, it's the most longest lasting. It is the most longest lasting, but the beads stay there and that's because it's lasting so long. It's got so much protection that the beads stay up on your car and there you go, you got a water spot problem. These, they don't last as long, but they do give you great shine, uh, gloss, the depth, the clarity is very good and the water will run off the panel. So you gotta pick your poison here, guys. And uh, all of these products are winners. Um, I don't know about this one, uh, it, it works but I, I don't like it as much as the other five here. So I hope you guys liked that video. That's my opinion on these products. I hope, hope you guys picked the right one for yourself. If I had to buy a gallon, I would buy a gallon of the 3D Beat It Up. That seems to be the best bang for my buck. Have a good day, guys.